Hi guys, so in this video, our topic is all about calculator techniques. So, ang calculator technique kasi guys is very useful in order for us to save time in solving problems, especially in the board examination. So, lahat lang muna tayo guys, calculator. So, wala muna tayong mga written solution. So, for the first problem we have here, so find the value of x in the equation. You have here x plus 1 all over 3 plus 2x all over 4 equals 47 minus x. So, first step guys is i-input muna natin yung equation. So, this calculator technique is your shift solve. So, you have here input natin. So, that is alpha. So, x. So, we have plus 1. All over. You have 3. So, plus. So, 2. Alpha x. All over. You have here 4. So, alpha. Then, CALC. So, that is equals. So, 47 minus alpha x. After you input the equation, you need to press shift and CALC. Then, just press equals. So, the value for x is 25.45. So, that is the shift solve function. So, it allows you to solve values of variables. So, one equation, one unknown directly. So, for the second problem, find the value of x. So, we have here 3 raised to x times 5 raised to x plus 1 equals 6 raised to x plus 2. So, you just input again the expression. So, that is 3 raised to, so you have alpha x, so times parenthesis, so 5 raised to, so alpha x plus 1, so parenthesis, so alpha equals, so alpha, that is CALC, then 6 raised to, so alpha x plus 2. So, shift, solve. So, in this time guys, pag nag shift solve tayo, usually matagal siya. So, in order for the calculator to solve it lesser time, you need to input a limit. So, kailangan natin guys ng limit para hindi mahirapan mag-solve yung calculator natin. So, yung limit is nakabase sa choices. Kasi yung limit natin guys, yun ang mga values na itry ng calculator natin. So, ibig sabihin, kung mas malaki yung limit mo, mas maraming values of x yung itatry niya. So, matatagalan yung calculator. So, base tayo sa choices. So, sa choices, you have here 2.46 as your highest choice. You need to input here, let's say, 2.5 as a limit. Then, we solve for x. So, the value for x is 2.1544. So, that is letter A. We have here the quadratic equation. So, 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So, you have here mode. So, that is equation. So, 5. So, after pressing that, makita natin here that is quadratic. So, yung number 3. So, yung number 3 natin, guys. So, yung number 3 sa quadratic, so, yung placing ng ating constant is before the equal sign. So, importante, guys, yung placing niya. Kasi here, yung dalawa, so, kung mapansin natin, yung constant niya is nasa labas ng equal sign. So, here, nasa loob siya. So, nasa left of the equal sign. So, input natin, guys. So, 3. So, after pressing that quadratic, so, input natin yung mga coefficients of our variables. So, for 2x squared, so that is 2. So, for x, that is negative 3. Then, for the constant, that is negative 5. So, equals lang. So, for x, 1, we have 5 halves. For the other root, we have negative 1. So, that is letter B. In this next problem, guys, we are required to find x in this 3 equation, 3 unknown problem. So, we have here 2x minus y plus z equals 6. So, x minus 3y minus 2z equals 13. And 2x minus 3y minus 3z equals 16. So, here, guys, so mode equation, so 5. Then, input natin. So, here yung 3 equations, 3 unknown natin, is using, we have here number 2. So, yung placing natin ng constant is after the equal sign. So, 2. So, ilagay natin yung mga coefficients niya. So, for the first equation, you have here for x, that is 2. So, for y, that is negative 1 equals. Then, for z, that is 1. Then, for the constant, so that is 6. So, second equation, you have here 1, negative 3. 
negative 2, 13. Then, for the third equation, you have 2. Coefficient tayo, guys, negative 3. Negative 3. And you have here 16. Then, you just press equals. So, x equals 2. So, that is letter B. So, ganun lang kadali, guys, ang pag-solve using our calculator. So, in this next problem, guys, find the value of x and y. So, you have two equations, two unknown. So, 3x minus y equals 6 and 9x minus y equals 12. So, same process, guys. So, mode, you have here equation. So, 5. So, two equations, two unknown. So, that is 1. So, 1. Then, input natin yung coefficient. So, for the first equation, you have 3 negative 1 and 6. For the second, you have 9 negative 1 and 12. So, equals. So, for x, you have 1 and for y, you have negative 3. So, that is letter A. So, next problem tayo guys. You have here, find the 30th term of an arithmetic progression for 7, 10. So, arithmetic progression meaning we have common difference. So, for progression problems, the calculator technique is found in mode, we have here stats, so 3. So, after pressing that, makita natin yung linear natin or for arithmetic progression, so that is 2. Then, input natin. So, yung x, dito is the position. So, yung position or yung kung pang ilang term siya. So, dito nakita natin so yung first term, first term, you have your second term and third term yung given. So, it's okay lang guys kung dalawa lang yung ilalagay natin. So, minimum of 2 data. So, first term, we have 4. So, second term, we have 7. Then, third term, we have 10. Then, okay na yung data natin. So, first term is 4. Second term is 7. Third term is 10. So, you can also input just 2 values. So, minimum of 2 values in solving for arithmetic progression or progression problems then you press ac here then punta tayo ng shift stat so 1 shift 1 then after pressing shift 1 let's go to behavior regression so that is 5 then ang hinahanap natin guys is yung nasa y so yung y natin is the term we are finding the term so yung y hat dito yung 5 then Sabi sa problem, what is the 30 yet? So, ilalagay lang natin sa katabi niya yung 30. So, equals. The 30th term of the arithmetic progression is 91. So, that is letter A. So, next problem guys, we have here, find the 22nd term in the arithmetic progression if the 4th term is 8 and the 10th term is 29. So, balik tayo guys sa mode stat. So, for arithmetic progression, that is number 2. So, input natin guys, yung 22nd term ang hinahanap natin. So, input natin guys yung 4th term. So, 4. 4th term is we have 8. So, the 10th term, so 10 is 29. So, x is the position and y is the value. Then, you press AC. After pressing AC, you have here shift, then stat. So, 1. Then, regression tayo. After uh, parsing regression, hinahanap natin is 22nd term. So, ang, ang term yung hinahanap, so that is number 5. So, y. So, ilagay natin sa katabi niya, so 22. So, that is equal to 71. So, that is our 22nd value of this arithmetic progression. So, next problem guys. You have here, find the sum. So, sum of arithmetic progression. So, find the sum of add numbers from 1 to to 61. So, first, hanapin muna natin, guys, kung pang ilang term yung 61. So, mode, mode again, so mode stat, so 3, arithmetic progression, so that is 2. Then, we input those values. So, first term, so that is 1, so add number kasi. Then, second term, yung second add number is, so positive tayo, that is 3. Then, okay na yung data natin, guys. Then, press AC. After pressing AC, Hanapin natin kung pang ilang term yung 61. So, press shift and stat. So, regression. So, that is 5. Bago natin mahanap yung sum, we need to find what is the position of 61 or kung pang ilang term siya. We have here 4. So, that is the position. So, 4. So, we input here. So, 61. 
So, 61 is a 31st term. So, okay na yun. So, nakuha na natin yung data. Then, input this. So, for sum, so, press natin yung summation here. So, shift, summation. So, shift logarithm yun. Then, after pressing that, input natin yung, so, alpha x, then, yung y hat. So, shift, regression. So, shift stat tayo. Shift stat, regression, then, yung number 5. So, y hat. Then, lagay tayo ng coma. Then, we are adding from the first term to, yung nakuha natin kanina, for 61, that is the 31st term. Then, lagyan natin ng parenthesis, then equals. So, the sum is 961. So, that is our sum of the arithmetic progression. So, nakadepende guys dito sa expression na to. So, summation x, y hat, first term, or hanggang kung anong term yung ina-add natin. So, in this case, first term is 1. And yung 31st term is 61. So we are adding the add numbers from 1 to 61. So if the third term of a geometric progression is 20 and the sixth term is 160, what is the first term? So for geometric progression guys, yung gagamitin natin na mode is mode stat pa rin. So mode stat, so 3. Then mag-iiba tayo dito guys. So number 6 for geometric progression, so 6. Then, same process. X is the position. Y is the term. So, ang given natin here, third term is 20. Then, yung sixth term is, you have here, 160. So, equal. So, kompleto na yung data natin. So, AC. After pressing AC, you have here shift stat. Then, regression tayo. So, 5. Hinahanap natin is the term. So, that is y. So, y hat. So, 5. Okay, ang term na hinahanap natin is the first term. So, lagay ka ng 1 sa katabi ng y hat. So, the first term is 5. So, that is letter A. So, next problem guys. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric progression. 2, 4, 8, 16. So, here guys, yung expression natin. Parehas lang kanina sa summation of arithmetic progression. So, you have here mode, stat. So, 3. Then, progression tayo. So, this is geometric. So, number 6. Then, input natin. So, yung first term is so, first term is 2. Second term is 4. Okay na yan. Minimum of 2 datas. So, you have here AC. Then, shift stat. So, regression tayo guys. So, that is y hat. So, here, yung ilalagay natin is summation. So, sum ito. So, shift, that is logarithm. Summation of, so dito nakalagay. So, you have your x, then comma. So, shift, comma tayo. Then, first 10 term. So, you have here from first term to 10 term. So, parenthesis then equals. So, that is 2046. So, that is our sum of this geometric progression. So, next problem guys, we have here evaluate the square root of negative 11 times square root of negative 5. So, we all know na pag in-input natin siya directly into calculator is magmamat error yung calcu natin. So, lalagyan natin siya ng complex. So, this is advanced math. So, complex number. So, mode complex tayo. So, 2. So, pwede na tayo mag-input ng expression wherein may negative sa loob ng square root sign. So, square root of negative 11 so, times the square root of negative 5. So, that is equal to so, negative the square root of 55. So, that is letter C. Evaluate the product of 6 minus 9i and 12 plus 7i. So, here guys, na complex na. So, okay na yun. So, mode course na complex then input natin yung complex number so 6 minus 9 so for i use this so shift eng then parenthesis of course you have here 12 plus 7 we have here i then equals natin you have this the product is 135 minus 66 i so, in this next problem, guys, we have find the value of the quantity 1 plus i raised to 6. 
So guys, kung i-try natin here, 1 plus, so naka-complex na siya. Of course, make sure na complex. So complex number 2, 1 plus i, quantity, raised to 6. So pag in-equals natin yun, of course, mat error siya. So i-break down natin siya into 2 expressions. So ang minimum kasi guys, na hindi mag mat error to, is i raised to 3, or uh, i cube. So 3 lang dapat. Then for i raised to 6, so 1 plus, factor natin siya. So this is raised to 3 then So equals... So, that is negative 8i. So, next guys, we have here the complex expression so polar to rectangular form. Na computation dapat tayo guys. So, mode, computation. Then, input natin yung complex number. So, it polar form niya is e, co-convert natin to rectangular. So, we have here rectangular. So, that is shift. So, this is minus. So, rectangular. Ilagay lang natin yung mga values niya. So, 4, Comma. So, make sure na kung naka-degrees ito guys. So, degrees yung problem. Make sure na naka-degrees din doon. So, D. So, kung naka-radian, so shift mode, radian. So, in here, naka-degree lang siya. So, 3. So, make sure of that. Take note of that because so you might be careless on that part. You have here 120. So, equals lang. So, ito na yung rectangular coordinates niya. So, negative 2. So, plus 3.2. 46i. So, that is approximately letter C. So, negative 2 plus 3.5i. So, this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. So, in this next problem, guys, this is limit. So, find the limit. So, this is calculus na, guys. So, find the limit of x squared minus 16 all over x minus 4 as x approaches 4. So, yung calculator technique natin, guys, is using CALC. So, input natin yung expression. So, that is alpha x squared minus, so 16 all over, we have here alpha x minus 4. So, for limit, you must press CALC. Then, tingnan natin guys yung approaching value nya. So, 4. So, maglagay ka, kasi pag 4 ang dinagay mo, automatic syntax error yan. So, math error. So, maglalagay tayo ng, so CALC ng value that is closest to 4. So, it's either 3.5 999 or 4.111 so maraming 9 so you have here 8 so that is limit next problem guys we have here find the limit of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 so input natin yung expression so alpha x squared minus 4 all over alpha x minus 2 so calc then what is x natin? So, approaching value is 2. Input, a value that is closest to 2. So, 1 point, say, 999. So, that is 4. So, 4 is the limit. Let's try this. So, what is the limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x squared as x approaches 0? You have your input natin, guys. So, 1 minus, so that is cosine alpha x all over alpha x squared. So, make sure, if you are dealing with trigonometric, make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. So, shift mode, radian tayo. So, 4. Then, you can start doing the calculator technique. So, as x approaches 0, so, lagay ka ng value that is closest to 0, let's say 0 point. So, CLC, say 0 point 001. So, that is approximately equal to 0 0.5. So, I hope that you have learned from this video. So, yung calculator technique guys or usually known as Caltex are important in the board examination because it's time pressure. So, it means that mas maraming Caltech ang alam mo, mas marami kang masolve na problems in a short period of time. So, importante pa rin of course na alam natin yung manual solving. So, I advise you to familiarize this and I'll be doing more about calculator techniques as we go along our topics. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video.